breaking news tonight. Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested in a Manhattan hotel this evening after a grand jury indicted the music mogul. His attorney tells CNN that he is currently being processed. The charges are unclear. Well, let me clear it for you because the charges have officially been released to the public and we can confidently say that Diddy's party is over. ABC, take it away. The indictment against Sean Diddy Combs has just been unsealed. Combs is being charged with racketeering conspiracy, alleging he ran an enterprise uh, that he engaged in trafficking, forced labor, or kidnapping, arson, and other crimes. Now, let me take you back to a couple of months because I know your memory of this whole case is a little bit foggy. It all started in 25th of March when Homeland Security decided to house surprise Mr. Diddy at his home in Miami and Los Angeles. The internet literally blew up. Everyone was talking out of their asses. Oh, he's arrested. He's uh, alleged. I knew he was. I knew he was dirty the second I looked at his face. But in fact, all these stuff were alleged, and he wasn't charged yet. Homeland Security. They were just FBI. Everyone. They were going through an investigation, and they didn't charge him with anything. They just. They were just investigating the investigation. They told him, Diddy, you sit here do not go anywhere we're just checking for the things the things you have been alleged for you're not being charged you're not being arrested this is just uh we just need to confirm if it is true or not and diddy has been very popular in the past 20 years ish so for having a lot of cases lawsuits towards them for assaulting ex-girlfriends producers producers everything there's so many allegations and cases that i cannot go through and his response to all the allegations and all the losses over the past couple of years and all the new victims who were just stepping forward accusing him of very horrible things his response was like they're all haters they hate me because they ain't me they want to take me down because i am him the lawyer and him himself said that i would never hurt a fly i never touched casey you know which is an ex wife in any you know harmful way she's lying because she wants my money and then shut up the internet was hit with a cctv footage of diddy dragging his ex-wife like a backpack on the floor just like when i got caught at eight years old stealing a pack of gum and the security guard accused me of stealing and i told him i never did it i would never ever do it how dare you and then he hit me with a cctv footage there is nothing to say there is nothing to do because you are screwed in diddy's case he made a very horrible apology video but in my case i started crying because i wasn't a afraid of the cctv footage or the security guard i was afraid of my mom's flip-flops my mom's chapels i was fucked up i mean i hit rock bottom my behavior on that video is inexcusable i take full responsibility for my actions in that video and after that obviously the investigations were still going on and diddy decided to you know for him to be cooperate with everyone that he's he's act like he's not guilty according to his lawyer sean diddy comes is in the music icon self-made entrepreneur loving family man unproven philanthropist who has spent the last 30 years building an empire adoring his children and working to uplift the black community he's an imperfect person but he's not a criminal his lawyer said that to his credit mr combs has been nothing but cooperate with this investigation and he voluntarily relocated to new york last week in anticipation of these charges these are the acts of an innocent man with nothing to hide and he looks forward to clearing his name in court well i hate to break it to you mr doctor but after raiding his house again these are the shit that they found fbi sees narcotics and over a thousand bottles of both baby oil lubricate it was a full full experience diddy party three ar-15s and they raided diddy's home in miami and los angeles homes now 30 minutes before his arrest diddy was chilling with some fans on the street and then boom fbi everyone they raided the hotel that he was staying on in manhattan and they decided to take him in now the u.s attorney of new york posted this on their twitter saying earlier this um, evening federal agents arrested sean combs aka diddy based on sealed in this event, and obviously after months of investigation they're not just gonna go because they suspected something it's a 50 50 chance i believe there's a very hard proof according to these three these are the very big federal charges that is coming his way they 100 have solid proof of the whole thing with the shakalaka boom boom trafficking which was alleged but now they arrested him and they charged them with this and also i wanted to talk about the racketeering charges if you don't know what racketeering means do not worry i didn't know it at first i had to search it up but this is what it means making money from illegal activities such as threatening people or selling worthless immoral or illegal goods or services so if you haven't read the court documents and done any of the other research on this guy this producer he worked with named lil rod brought this lawsuit against him rodney jones v sean combs alleging rico allegations which is like organized crime. And he alleged that a member of this RICO organization was none other than the CEO of Universal Music Group, Lucian Grange. While living and traveling with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones discovered that 
Combs had hidden cameras in every room of his homes. Mr. Jones believed that Mr. Combs had recordings of defendants Lucian Charles Grange, Ethiopia Haber, blah, 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 as well as other celebrities, music label executives, politicians, and athletes. Upon information and belief, these individuals were recorded without their knowledge and consent, and as in the case with the homosexual sex tape of Stevie J that Mr. Combs provided to Mr. Jones, Mr. Combs possesses compromising footage of every person that has attended his freak-off parties and his house parties. Upon information and belief, due to this treasure trove of evidence he has in his possession, Mr. Combs believes that he is above the law and is untouchable. Basically, everyone at Diddy's party were on a leash, literally and non-literally as well. Not only that, according to this whole document of the lawsuit that the Mr. Producer was bringing against Mr. Combs, according to him, Diddy used to promise people top you know producer award of the year i will make you the best in the industry or if you're not the best do not worry i have connections inside and i'm going to give you the award either way for the best producer i don't know celebrity director music award whatever it is and all you have to do to receive that award of the year is shakalaka boom boom i know you're straight but i need you to shakalaka boom boom with another man and i will be secretly recording you to use as blackmail to blackmail you and the other person who's involved in this shakalaka boom boom session. Mr. Combs, Diddy, went so far as to share a video of Stevie J penetrating a Caucasian male without a condom. This was done to ease Mr. Jones's anxiety concerning homosexuality. According to Diddy, this is a normal practice in the music industry. Look, even Stevie J is doing it. Diddy informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper Redacted, R&B singer Redacted, and Stevie J. Yes, Diddy's having gay multi gay and using it to try to get homie to have more gay because that's what he's all about. Mr. Combs promised to make sure that Mr. Jones wins producer of the year at the Grammys if he did gay stuff. So A, Diddy is claiming that he has the power and leverage to get some random dude to win producer of the year at the Grammys. And he's leveraging that to get gay and blackmail from that case. I swear to God, Hollywood, all these famous bubble groups that these famous celebrities hang out are there into some creepy, creepy... <laughs> Shit. But if you're watching this and in the future, just in case you get popular and you enter this whole um, celebrity Hollywood type of circles, just in case you come across someone like Diddy and they tell you if you want to get the music or the award, they promise you something and they say all you have to do is give Gaga to this person. Tell them, how about this? You teach me how to do it. You show me how to do it. Then I will do it. And the second they start doing it. Shut up! Now you will 100% receive that award and you don't have to give gargoyles to anyone. You're welcome. Now we can go on for days with these lawsuits. There's just so many of them that I'm just showing you the important ones. Maybe I missed one or two, but the, the, all you need to know is the three main charges that he's being charged with, which, you know, we discussed at the beginning of his video. His lawyer also said that we are disappointed with the decision to pursue that we believe is in an unjust prosecution of Mr. Combs by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Combs attorney Mark Agnelilofilo has said that the rapper is planning on pleading not guilty. So according to his lawyer, he's not going to plead guilty with all all the baby oil and ARs and all this shit, other shit they found and the accusations and the charges they're bringing against them is going to be a very interesting case to see what's going on. If anything comes my way, I'll make sure to share it with you. But so far, Diddy's party is over, locked up, door is locked, closed. The key is thrown out of Epstein Island in the middle of the ocean. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. You know what to do if you enjoyed it. Take it easy. I'll see you at the next one.